can we take that standard traditional degree and add something to it which would be an enriched experience that would allow students to be able to leave university and to be able to both have the confidence and to be able to have the network and the ability to have impact um, early in their life. And science and, um, and creative thinking are two amazing things to mould together and that's basically what you guys are going to be learning to do over the next few years. And this is really good for like taking it out of, out of the lab and then bringing it to people. And already at its establishment, the people in the Royal Society had come to understand that for their science to mean anything in society, for their findings to mean anything, they would have to rely on those who could communicate well. And basically what it all comes down to is telling stories and telling stories about humanity. If you're in the lab and working on organ tissue or if you're in the lab working or, or if you're thinking about working on the brain or whatever it is you're choosing to do in your science discipline, think about its implications to a single person. And so big problems facing us and we need people uh, who can actually, you know, help shape the debate and the thinking within our societies. I think all of the conversations I listened to or took part in during this interview process, selection process, all of you wanted to have an impact. If you want to tell a story about a certain issue, just write it, put it up there, see what legs it has, post it on forums that relate to it. I think I was really interested in a science degree that actually enabled you to take action. So ideally in 10 years time, um, I'd be running my own social enterprise. The past is a very hopeless indicator of the kind of things that you can do in the next nine years. And in the course of doing stuff, if you're at the, the leading edge of generating knowledge, um, um, you're finding unexpected things. What is it that we next need to do to understand why it is that society is so resistant? Life is constantly full of change and the capacity to intervene in a system to affect change is open to anybody. Right, so we're taking care of the healthcare problems. We saw a potential for a solution, but we engaged with the corporate community in order to make sure that our story went further. So for me, leadership is about vision. It's about people that have an idea about something that is different to what the current state is. Not only do we, are we able to do science, but um, alongside that, the whole like leadership, the impact through science stuff. I think like for me personally, it's just an opportunity for me to grow more as a leader and really have the opportunities to show my talents. Of the cohort here, a number of you are going to go on and do some very interesting stuff. And so I'm really excited to be working with these people. It's all starting to come together and I'm just really looking forward to the next four years so much as uh, probably the best years of my life, I guess. Mm -hmm.